You ever do that cute little thing where you tell people how you're actually feeling, but you don't tell them how you're actually feeling? Like, like, oh, hey, how you doing? Usual. Which is awful, because no one ever asks what the usual is. Or one of my other favorites, uh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, hanging in there. Buy a noose. You usually don't tell them that one. Sometimes I do just to see their reaction and get a kick out of it. Ooh, another one. Now this one's kind of like, you know, sometimes people pick up on it. I'm alive. But I wish it wasn't, you know. Yeah. Uh, thought I was going to have more than that. Uh, not as clever as I thought I was. Anyways, this is day 23. Welcome. Didn't, is it? Day 24. Oh, man, that's, a, that's good. I'm doing all right. My name is Brian Olson. I'm autistic and I have ADHD, and I've been working out of getting through autistic burnout and depression for the last 24 days consecutively. Uh, it's not the first time I've tried to do this, but this is the first time I've been recording it. And, uh, tried to go out last night with some friends. Bigger group. Yeah, I don't know why I do that. That, uh, that never helps. It makes you feel way more alone. It makes me feel way more alone than I normally do. Everybody's talking around you. And, you know, there is all the extra sensory input and whatever, but... There's no connection in a group like that. There's no... One, my interests are so different, it seems, than most of the people around me. So finding somebody that I can talk to, that I can relate to, that I have the same interests in is rare. You know, everybody's talking about usual stuff like sports and, I don't know, sports. That was mainly it. I don't, I don't know a thing about sports. I mean, if you talk to me about bodybuilding, powerlifting, or strongman, I might know a couple of things, but... <sighs> yeah. That's a tough, tough feeling of being... Feeling that alone around people who... Um, like you, I guess. It's weird. Just kind of takes it out of you. I also missed out on Taco Bell because it was closed by the time everything was done. That's a real disappointment. Man. Don't have a whole lot of life in me today. Can't wait till it gets cooler, then I'll be outside a little bit more. Maybe, I say that, it probably won't be, but it probably should be. Feels like I'm regressing quite a bit. Haven't gotten in any exercise. Food's gone down. Food consumption has gone down. Food usually goes down when you eat it. Lots of red flags going up. But it's funny because the more red flags go up, the less that I seem to care. I think another frustrating thing is all the research and things that I've looked up to try to help with all of this, it's all fairly the same thing it's you know fairly basic suggestions and the real frustrating thing is that it's just not working fast enough you know when i learn or do things i'm able to do them at my own pace and sometimes that's rather quickly but when it comes to this it's just not fast enough so patience is a struggle, patience with the process. And it's definitely going to take some time to 
Accept that thought. Accept, no, accept that reality. That it is a lengthy process. A marathon, if you will. Never ran a marathon. I've done a half marathon. That kind of sucked. But it's pretty cool. Patience with the process. Oh, one thing to note is if you do do a marathon, it always helps to start slow and train up for it. Because if you just sign up and do it without any training, your knees are going to hurt real bad for the next few days. <laughs> That's what happened with the last one. Uh, so I guess it's kind of the same thing. You can't just jump in to try to solve all of this all at once. You do have to take baby steps and be patient with the process. So, yeah. So I guess I'm going to get this work done. On to day 25. Yay.